Hey everybody, Jam Creates here with part two of my Spider-Man drawing videos. Um, I figured, you know what, what the heck? Um, the first one ended very abruptly, uh, I know. Uh, but this one I figured let's add some detail to Spidey here. So I'm running the video a little fast because it, you know, it takes a while and it's kind of silly if it goes too slow. Um, so I'm running at a double speed just to kind of speed things up a little bit. As you can see, I'm going to start adding the detail in here. Um, Spider-Man is always a fun one to add detail on, I think, just because he's got all that webbing and everything else. And in a way, I feel like when you just do a basic body shape, you know, when you're practicing poses, which is how this whole thing started as I was just practicing poses. Um, I feel like when you're practicing poses, you know, and you just draw that oval for the head, it just automatically looks like Spider-Man. Just, I don't know, that's just me. Um, so I tend to, I like to draw a lot of Spidey poses. I feel like it just kind of works really well. Um, also because I feel like it's good when you're practicing because you can put Spider-Man into a lot of really funky poses and, you know, see how that gets you from there. I don't know, it's just a little thing. Um, because you can put him in some really strange positions. Uh, so you can see here I'm adding the webbing onto the mask. Um, which, it's funny with Spider-Man too. You know, you make the, the eyes. And then as soon as you start doing the webbing, just instantly, like, the drawing comes to life. For me at least. I feel like once you start adding that webbing, it really becomes Spidey. Um, more than anything else. Um, I was doing this without any reference on the costume, so I was just kind of doing it from memory, so if any of it is a little bit off, that's just why. It was just because it wasn't something I was originally planning on doing, and then I just said, ah, what the heck, let's go ahead and do it. Um, if anyone's curious, I'm just drawing with a normal mechanical pencil. Nothing fancy, nothing super expensive. It was like a regular old mechanical pencil. I think I got it at, like target or something i don't even know um it's a nice one though i like it it's got a nice grip on it the little rubbery grip on the end there it's comfortable on my fingers so i enjoy that um i kind of wish it had a little more weight to it but um it's good it's overall it's been good for me it's been kind of my go-to uh, model of mechanical pencil to draw with um, because I feel like mechanicals are just, yeah, they just work. It's got a, an eraser that twists out so it gets bigger. And so we've got a lot of eraser there to work with, which is very good when you're learning how to draw, uh, and when you're practicing. Um, and again, you can see here I am adding just more detail. It's, it's a lot of the webbing. I know a lot of, uh, Spider-Man artists over the years have talked about how they hate, the webbing and they loved the black costume because it had no webbing or they'll try to put him in shadow to avoid having to do so much webbing or anything which I can understand when you're doing a, a monthly book and you're trying to get those 22 pages out every month that it could definitely be uh tiring I guess um, but you know what it is it's the character and that's that's the really important thing it really adds that to the character now at the end of this video, what you're going to see is I'm going to actually color this as well, which I was definitely not intending on doing when I first started this whole thing. But I just said, you know what, what the heck, I've taken it this far. Why not just go all the way with it and I'll cut and color it. So what I did was I colored it using uh, Metabang Paint, which is an app you can use on a phone, on a tablet. There is a desktop version as well. Um, I don't know about the desktop version, but I know the mobile version and the tablet version are free. Um, and they give you cloud uh, saves, which is cool because you can save something on your phone and just pop your phone out and work on it a little bit. And then if you have a tablet at home, you can just open up, your, you can save it to the cloud and then open up your tablet. And if you want to work on something on a bigger screen, you could work on your tablet. It's actually, it's a really nice app. It's got a lot of features. Um, it really, I mean, it works really well. It's got like, you know, it's got layers and everything else and all the stuff you would expect from an art app or program or whatever. Um, but it really does work really well. And I'm not a big fan of drawing digitally. Um, I would prefer to draw, uh, traditionally. 
And what you do is, uh, you know, this picture you're going to see. I mean, I drew this. I draw this picture by hand on with a pencil on a piece of paper. And then all I do is take a photo of it with my phone because my phone's camera is much better than the camera on my tablet. Um, and then from there, you just you import it into MetaBang and you can extract the lines from it. Um, it's not always the cleanest process when you're doing it by just snapping a photo of it. You do kind of get like a lot of the noise and the paper grain and that kind of stuff. But if you really, really, really want to like be slick about it, you could certainly uh, draw something and then like scan it on a really nice scanner and then bring that image over and, and do it that way. You probably get better lines that way. So here you go. Here he is in color. And this is him. I took out all the background noise and the, and the green of everything. And then this one has the green and you can see the uh, paper green behind it in there. And um, I kind of like that one better, honestly, with the green uh, for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll do a video sometime talking about my process with record with uh, coloring. Um, but yeah, there you go. I'll see you next time.